Royal feature act for the night, Mr. Josh Earl. Woo! Down the street says, why am I soft in the middle now? Why am I soft in the middle of the rest of my life is so hard? I need you for opportunity and I want a shot with that. I chose that music because I, I feel that I can't listen to that song without feeling sad. Like, isn't it the greatest song ever? You could tell me anything and I would be happy if that song played afterwards. If you said, I'm sorry Josh, uh, you've got cat eight, and then this song played again. <laughs> Play the song again, like track one, and we'll, we'll be happy again. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to wait until it plays. Uh, this is how we do it. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Cat age is fine. Cat age is fine. Fine. Okay, take that. Put, put your finger on the button though, because I'm going I'm to play it again. Uh, if you said to me, Josh, you said, Josh, uh, tight black jeans are no longer cool, I'd be like, what? What? And then this song played. So hard, I need a it's alright, it's all, it, I'm cool, I'm cool. If you said, Josh, uh, you've been wearing tight black jeans so long that you, they've actually given you cat aids. And then this song came. Yeah, I'd be fine. Um, this is new material night, by the way, that's right, that's right. Um, so, I uh, have some news to you. Some people might know that I'm actually a librarian, uh, was a librarian, quit my job, I had my last day Friday, uh, so I'm now self-employed. Um, and yeah, woo! But don't worry, I've got, I've got, I've got things to do. I've got, I've got prospects. I've got I ideas. Um, I've been thinking of writing some kids' books. So, because I worked in a, you know, library for like six years with kids, so I thought I'd write my own kids' books and make lots of money. So, uh, these are some of the kids' books that I've written. Uh, so this is the first one. This is for girls aged between five and twelve. It's got everything a little girl would want in a book. It's called uh, Princess Fairy Kittens and the Glitter Horse Stickers. Like. <laughs> Everything a little girl would want in a book, like, yeah. Um, is, I have only been unemployed for like three days, so I actually haven't actually written it yet. So on every page, I've just got this. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, glittery. Ooh, shiny girls. Um, I, ha I haven't left out the boys. I've got one. For, this is what everything a boy aged between five and ten would want in a book. It's called um, the Gangster Wizard and the Violent Video Game Break Off. Um, <laughs> everything a boy would want in a book. Um, I know some of you think, hang on Josh, uh, uh, boys don't read. Um, this is a graphic novel that they can only download. So, uh... Yeah. Is that annoying anyone else or just me? Just me. Uh, I've got another book. This one is it's more of a niche market, um, but I still think there's a market for it. Uh, this one is called, uh, where is it? The, the Where's Wally Braille Edition. Um, I just think. So every page is just this. And, and you've just got to find the dot. Uh, got him. There he is. Found him. Found him. I think I'm turning this one into a talking book. Um, just lots of crowd noise and you've just got to find out uh, which voice he is. is. Um, I've got other things that I've, on, I've got other things on the agenda. Like my, my original job before I worked in the library was I used to call bingo at a Roman bingo hall, um, which is a tough gig. It's a tough job to do that because you know like they don't have the numbers like we do. They've got the numerals, so you can't just go legs eleven. You've got to do it like this. You've got to go um, uh, two legs two uh, five contains violence. Not suitable for children under fifteen years old. Five. Uh, where are we? Oh, I'm stuck. Eleven! Legs crossed, standing next to an amputee. Eleven! Twelve! Legs crossed, standing next to someone with their legs uncrossed. Twelve! Thirteen! Legs crossed, standing next to someone with their legs uncrossed. Oh, and the amputees come to join. Is he in the middle or is he in the end? One can only speculate. Thirteen! Um, uh, so, what else is happening? Uh, I am. Um, I'm going to my license in a couple of days, like in two weeks actually, which will be exciting. Um, so, I I'm no good at driving. Driving's my biggest fear, uh, that's true. Uh, only because I've got no attention span, so I just think if I drive, I'll just go, ooh, shiny, and then crash. And uh, if I crash, I'll hit someone. If I hit someone, I'll probably, I'll probably kill them. If I kill them, I'll go to jail. And, and that's my biggest fear, because um, I'm pretty. And um, <laughs> I know what they do to you in jail. So this song is all about how I, I, I went for my licence, I'm going, having lessons and stuff like that.
If this is too loud, um, sound, sound boy, is that what they call him here? I don't Audio know. Boy. Audio boy. Audio boy. No, that's, that's not the same person. That's a different person. If it's too loud, you, you'll know and just turn it down. I won't get mad or cross. Okay, cool. Here we go. Okay. Please, can you understand? I've got no attention span. And while it's not something I yearn, I thought it should be time to learn. And thing is, with car keys, they're far too bulky for my jeans. And while I'd rather stay alive, I thought it should be. Time to learn to drive. So I'm learning to drive and I got one of those like um those sat nav GPS navigational systems that talk to you while you drive just so it's one less thing to worry about while I'm driving, but I didn't get a very expensive one, I got kind of a cheap one, so the voice on it just sounds really panicked all the time. It just goes, turn left here, left, 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 no, my left, oh my left is your left, oh, I'm sorry, oh no, it was back there, it was definitely back there, oh I'm so sorry. Hey, do you mind if we pull over? I'm feeling really nauseous from reading the map while we're driving. Um, yeah. Thank you, that was my impression of a um, sat navigational device. Thank you very much. I've got other impressions. I can do an impression of an uneducated person's impression of a cockney. This is an uneducated person's impression of a cockney. Um, here we go. Bonjour, bonjour, I'm a cockney. Bonjour, I'm a cockney. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Because I got distracted You went ahead and cracked it How am I supposed to drive With all this stuff going on from my mind Check out the bumper sticker in the car in front of us Did you see the bumper sticker? That's awesome It, it says free to bet Free to bet, that's amazing I should warn you though, I think they're all gone Yeah, I think China's the last one I don't, I don't think there's any Tibets left Because their prices are crazy All independents must go We're slashing our prices Anyone who speaks out against the government yeah, political. I can do political. No, I'm better at the impressions. I know. Um, I'll do. I'll do some more impressions. This is an un uneducated person's impression of the nanny from the TV show, The Nanny. Hey, Mr. Sheffield. Hey, I'm walking it. Hey, I'm walking it. Hey, hey, big balls. Hey, I'm walking it. Hey, I'm walking. Thanks. Um, I can do an impression of. Um, of the kid from the taco ad. I can do that kid. You know, the kid from the. There's my impression of the kid from the taco ad. That's all. Just because I got distracted, you went ahead and cracked it. How am I supposed to drive with all this stuff going on throughout my mind? Hey, check out, check out back there. There's goths. Did you see the goths? It's actual goths. I love goths. Goths make me so happy. That should, that's not how it should work out. They shouldn't make me happy. But did you know that one in seven goths are actually colorblind? One in. That's why they're so sad. They've never seen a rainbow. Oh, oh, they're like, hey man, check out that refractive grey light up there. Oh, its greyness reminds me how much I disappoint my father. Oh, I don't feel sorry for emo kids though, that's just what they want you to feel, so yeah. Just because I got distracted, you went ahead and cracked it. How am I supposed to drive with all this stuff going on from my mind? Like, this is what I'm doing now, I'm auditioning to be and stuff. So I auditioned, well, I didn't audition, I, I pitched a show for, uh, to Taz TV. And uh, so, um, this is the show. Big one. Did someone say something? I can talk to the audience. I'm good at talking to the audience. Do you want, anyone want to talk? What's your name? Adam, what, what are your parents' names? Peter. Peter. Are you see, your, your parents' names are Peter and Kate. That's exactly what I call my balls. <laughs> See? Amazing at talking to the audience. Sorry, that was bad. Uh, so, let's just not shout anything out and then we'll have a good show. Okay, uh, so, um, this is, uh, I pitched a TV show and the TV show is called um, Singing Spelling Bee and I get celebrities on and they, in, instead of doing, they, they sing the words. So this is, this is the show. So imagine I'm the host. So here you go, here we go. Hello and welcome back to Singing Spelling Bee, the game that puts the ging's pelly in singing spelling. And the third most popular spelling behind Tori and Aaron, but miles ahead of Aaron of Tori's brother, I don't even know what his name is. Uh, this week we're joined by Tammy Wynette. 
Tammy, your time starts now. Next one, sorry. Track three. <laughs> Divide. Oh, bad luck. <laughs> but don't worry, because no one leaves singing spelling and be empty handed. Tell her what she's won, Eva. And then Eva. True grain. Have it in milk. Oh, have it go back to the start. I missed the joke. Don't miss the joke. Here. <laughs> Tell her the one, Eva. And then try. He's one Nutri-Grain. Yeah. Have it in milk, have it dry. Mix it up with peanuts and curry powder and walk up a mountain. Mmm, <laughs> Nutri-Grain. Putting the Nutri back in grain. Wow! So join us next time when we'll be joined by Irish Grizzlepot, Mr. Van Morrison. And that's the show. Uh, do you reckon it's going to go ahead? Yeah. I don't. Uh, <laughs> cool. That was new. Uh, that was good. Uh, that was safe. Uh, all the stuff as well. The fuck-ups. Uh, that'd be good.